Hello all and welcome to yet another new video with our Switch series. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade your firmware on the Nintendo Switch without using the official upgrader and without burning any fuses. So if you're on uh, custom firmware this is for you so that you don't burn any fuses and you can downgrade again whenever you want. Now um, there's a actual firmware, uh, sorry there's an actual NRO file which is a homebrew program that we can use on the Switch to enable us to do this. Um, Unfortunately, I won't be supplying a link for the uh, for the official firmware. You'll have to Google for that to find it. But um, I'll show you what to do once you do have it. So, first things first, you're going to want to go to the link in the description to download this uh, particular NRO file. So this is Choi Du Jour. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it, but we need to download this file. So if you go here and download the latest one um, you can use this NRO to help you install the firmware and this will also enable the um, the uh, fuse, oh, sorry, prevent the fuse burning and enable auto RCM so once you've downloaded that go ahead and locate the firmware that you want to install in my case I'll be installing the firmware 9. I think 1.0, yep 9.1.0 this is currently the latest firmware for the Switch and with that being said this will require the latest version of Atmosphere in order to run so if you type in Atmosphere Switch and we go to his GitHub we should find that it is working with the latest version so we'll type in 9.1 See, here we are. Support was added for 9.1.0. That was in Atmosphere 0.10. So considering that it's been updated quite a few times up until 0.10.2, which was only 10 days ago, I believe that we should be okay as long as you have this version of Atmosphere installed. Now, with that being said, I am using the Cosmos Atlas uh, CFW. So again, you just want to check there um, to confirm that they are supporting the current version of the Switch 9.1.0. So we'll go into releases, which is over here. And this was six days ago, so I might even update this because um, I think this is more recent than my one. But anyways, as you can see here, they've gone ahead and um, added support for, let's see, 9.1. I just put firmware 9.1 in sys FTPD. Okay, yep, that's um, just for those. I just put for 9.1. Yep, so in Atmosphere, they've updated their version of Atmosphere and so have they updated their version of Hecate. So with both of these, you'll be able to load the custom firmware on your Switch. And um, if you don't update these, you will not be able to load custom firmware on the Switch and you could potentially brick it. So um, yeah, with that being said, go ahead and update these if you haven't already and then uh, you can continue on with the video okay so once you have all that sorted and you've um, now got your NRO file and your zip file here you just want to go like this I guess and extract um, archives to separate folder and uh, just let it do its thing so as you can see here there's uh, individual folders for each this will make it a lot easier for you to do what you have to do so we're going to open this one up here and we just want the NRO file so we're going to copy this um, so you can go control C or copy and then go into your uh, SD card for your switch and then click on the switch folder and just control V or paste it into here so you got the NRO right there and next what you want to do is you want to go into the firmware folder that we have over here um, as you can see there's a lot of files that are just NCAs so we're going to go back and we're going to actually copy this whole folder and we're going to paste it just into the root of the SD card like so and it might take a second to do this um, now while I'm just waiting for that I'm going to explain as well you should most likely back up your switches uh, NAND just in case of any emergency because I am not responsible if anything does happen or if you need to uh, find a way to fix your NAND because you've bricked it or semi-bricked it so if you um, want to proceed further I suggest you back up your NAND from this point onwards and um, just be prepared in case something does happen I've already gone ahead and done that so I don't need to do that as you can see I've got a backup folder in my SD card as we speak so let's go ahead and uh, Let's go and eject this and we'll plug it into the switch. So well, if you get this message, just wait a little bit and then click try again. And as you can see, it ejected. So I'll go ahead and meet you on the switch and I'll show you what we need to do from there. 
Okay, so once you've reinserted your SD card, you want to load up your Hecate or however you're launching your custom firmware and just load into whatever you're using. So I'm using SysNAN for this and um, you guys can use whatever you want to use. Just wait for it to boot into firmware. Can take a second at times. And you just want to log into the switch. So once you're here, you want to go into the album. And then you want to seek to the Choi Du, du Juo NX uh, NRO homebrew. And then from here, you want to just click on the firmware that you're installing. So I'm installing 9.1.0. And then you just click choose. So as you can see, it processes it. Now, this part here is important. So I'm going to show you. See how you've got the option for XFAT or you've got the option for 9.1.0. If your SD card is formatted to XFAT on the switch, then you will need to select the XFAT option. Otherwise, it will not function and you will not be able to do that anymore. So I recommend choosing that. If you have a FAT formatted SD card, FAT32, then you can choose either option. So if you don't know what you're doing or which one you have, I suggest choosing XFAT. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And it'll just load. Alrighty, so now that that is done, you want to go ahead and click select firmware down the bottom. Alrighty, so it'll tell you if there's any issues. If you have any issues with this, then don't go ahead. I don't, so I'm just going to click select firmware. And now it's ready to go. So for me, I'm going to use prevent fuse burning. So I'm going to enable auto RCM. I highly recommend you do the same. Um, the only thing is that you will need your computer to reboot your switch all the time if you use this option, um, unless you reboot it through the firmware, which is uh, which I have been doing. So you can reboot the payload and stuff like that if you need to do that. It's like a soft sort of reboot, hard sort of reboot. It, it works the same in my opinion. But um, anyway, so as you can see here, this is a current firmware that I'm on, which I may be downgrading to later after I test some stuff. And this is a current firmware that I'm going to be upgrading to the target firmware. Um, system initialize, full factory reset. We don't want to do that. So we're just going to leave that crossed off as X. So I'm going to press start installation. And as you can see, it's going through and it's installing all of the files to update. Okay, so that seems to be it. So we're going to reboot now and we're going to go reboot now. So I believe it will reboot straight into the payload again, like I was showing you earlier. And now that's done. So if we go ahead and press launch and we should be able to launch our CFW on SysNAND um, because we've got our Hecate and our Atlas, uh, sorry, Atmosphere already updated. Uh, as you can see, it's running as you expect. And we get the switch logo now. And boom, there we are on the home screen. So it's successfully updated. And I'll show you that we're now on a new firmware by going to system settings. And if you scroll all the way down to system, you'll be able to see, oops, sorry. If you go to system, you'll be able to see that we're now on 9.1.0, atmosphere 0.10.1. One, so I didn't update my atmosphere yet, but I will go ahead and do that in the future. Uh, this is still functional with 9.1.0, as you can see, it's currently functioning. So, please, if you guys have any questions, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Um, if you want to see more videos, please make sure you rate and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Peace.